Welcome back guys to the Whiskey Explorer and uh, I've got a, another review for you guys tonight. This is an interesting bottling. This is one that I just kind of had to get when I found it and I didn't find it here in Victoria. I found this in the Kensington Wine Market in Calgary. This is the Elements of Isla Peat and this version here is the Full Proof cask strength bottling. So this one is 59.3% and this is bottled primarily for the UK market. So this typically doesn't come over here to Canada. So I was lucky to get my hands on it and when I did uh, get my hands on it I had to had to grab it. This is a bit of an interesting bottle too. It's kind of cool. It looks like like an apothecary bottle. So it's set up to look like kind of like the peat on there, it's supposed to look like the elements of the periodic table, that type of an idea. Um, also interesting about this bottle is that it is 50 centiliters. So that would be 500 milliliters. Um, so that's interesting because we typically don't get bottles of this size in Canada at all. This that's again, it's a UK product. That would be typical of the bottling there. Um, so this one, Elements of Isla, you guys can see this is right down to the elbow of the bottle because I have a friend who is an absolute peat head. He is a peat fanatic. So his whiskey of choice is the Ardbeg 10. And when he tried this, he liked this even more. So that's why this bottle is so low. Every time I go over to his place, I always bring it with me and he always ends up demolishing it. So there you have it. I managed to save this little bit for you guys for this review. So we got a little bit left and this one is a blended malt whiskey. So what's interesting about this bottle is that it is a vatted malt or a blended malt. So it is a blend of single malts only. So this is from all of the different Isla distilleries. And what's another interesting point is that we don't actually know which distilleries are in here. So we don't know which ones are included. So maybe my buddy likes this one so much because Ardbeg is actually one of the Isla whiskeys that is in here. We don't know. So, um, what else to tell you guys? I believe this is unchill filtered and uncolored. Just looking at the color there. Don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll hold up the glass when I pour it. Um, what I will tell you about this, guys, is it is, I believe the whiskeys in here are very young. And I'll get to that when I get to my tasting notes on this as well. Without further ado, let's pour a wee dram of the Elements of Isla Peat. All right, here we go. A nice big cork stopper. A little wee sound out of there, which is fun. All right. So, nice big cork stopper there. Wood, cor wood, wood on the top, which is nice. Got the Glen Cairn here, got a little pour going. Ooh, not very much of this guy left at all. Might as well just finish that guy off just like that. I know my buddy's going to be upset that I finished that without him, but that's how she goes. All right. Um, so let's give this one a nosing. We'll see what I can find here. Mmm, lots of smoke which would be expected, elements of peat, you're gonna get the peat bomb in this one. This is an absolute peat punch in the face. This is, this one will wake you up. So if you're not into peat, maybe again, I would steer clear of this one. Uh, this is a really potent punch of peat here. On the nose, I'm just getting almost all peat, but I do get a strong vanilla in there as well, actually. Which is, which is nice to find. So, so that, that already hints at some balance there to, to the equation. So not just all, it is definitely smoke forward, but there's some, some sweetness to be discovered there as well. Now I'm picking up a uh, more brine, um, a bit of a smoked meat note to it. I get like almost like a white wine too, as well, like a grape, like a white grape, like a dry white grape kind of flavor to it as well. That would be like if I found a fruit note in here, that would be the fruit note that I would find. So let's go in for a sip without further ado. Here we go. A 
Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa. So this is like a supercharged um, Lagavulin. A lot like it actually. It's tons and tons of bonfire smoke here. It's actually really good. I actually like this a lot. Um, the you know the sixty percent it doesn't like you'd expect a cask a cask strength, especially a heavily peated whiskey such as this one, to hit harder, but it doesn't. It's actually pretty smooth. Um, the finish on this one it lasts forever, it goes and goes and goes. Very similar to the Lagavulin. Lots and lots of bonfire smoke there. Um, I'm going to go in for a second sip. Oh, I'll give you guys also a quick quick look at the color there. So light straw yellow, leading me to believe no added color. All right. I'm going to go in for the second sip and see if I can find something else there to discover. Wow, way more, way more astringent on that second sip. Maybe it was a bit, a bit of a, like a bigger second sip, but whew, that's potent. This one, I can tell you guys, holds water. In fact, it will hold a ton of water. So if you do find this bottle, if you pick it up, I put nine drops of water in that and it held up just fine. In fact, I think it improved it rounded off the edges and more of the sweetness of the whiskey came into play. So the vanilla notes that I'm getting in there uh, mixed with a bit of butterscotch um, and then kind of contrasting with the the heavy heavy dominant very strong potent peat smoke again the bonfire smoke that sort of levels out a bit when you add water. I'm not going to do that tonight but I would recommend you guys try it at full strength and then try it with a bit of water just and just keep playing with the water and and uh, adding some drops until you get it to the strength that you like it. Don't know what else much to tell you guys about this one. I did see on one review, I'm almost certain it was this whiskey. It may have been a different one, but there's one of their tasting notes that I found super interesting and accurate is seashells. They're picking up seashells on the taste. That kind of powdery, um, briny, uh, quality that they're talking about in like a clamshell or something to that effect that's pretty accurate for this and again this would be like this is, takes you right to the beach this one and uh, I think I'm gonna leave you guys on that note and we will see you guys in the next video until then it's a